picture and if that better, you can get a complete overview of, well, all of me. Ooh, some Twizzlers. Yeah. My sister's probably gonna kill me. <laughs> okay, um, so it is now 2016 and a lot of cool stuff is expected to happen this year. I mean, we've got Batman vs. Superman, we've got Captain America Civil War, um, we've got... I like to say Deadpool, because I really want to say Deadpool, but I can't, because it's rated R. Well, it's it's actually really unexpected. It's actually expected for Deadpool to be rated R. He's a very rated R character, but these are good. Um. He's just a very radar character, and, um, I like that they're keeping that by making a radar movie, but that also means I can't see him until I'm 20, so, crap, but, um, anyway, yeah, a lot of cool stuff is gonna come out this year, and I keep forgetting that they're gonna make a Star Wars spin-off movie, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, speaking of movies, I have five movies, the top five best movies, of, two, of 2015. Why only five, you may ask, even though there's been a bunch, like Mad Max and um, Terminator Genesis? Well, I can explain that. I have not seen every single movie this year due to schoolwork and just all kinds of stuff that have made my schedule packed, so we could not, so we literally could not fit any movies like, like that, even though I couldn't see Mad Max. Um, cause like Deadpool, it's a radar movie, and it probably would have been crazy violent, so I couldn't see it anyway. But, um, there's just, my, our schedule was so packed with stuff, and mine, because I was so stuck on schoolwork, that we could not fit movies into that schedule. So, um, which kind of sucks, cause there's been a lot of really good movies this year that I really wanted to see, and, um, our packed schedule kind of ruined that for me, but... There will be a day, but there is something called Netflix, and there will be a day where they come out on uh, Blu-ray and DVD, so hope is not lost. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on to the video. I really do love licorice. Licorice is my favorite candy. Alright, so on the number five list of best movies, Home. Well... The best kids movie of the year. Um, this movie is definitely a recommend, recommended movie for parents, for uh, kids to watch. Um, it's from the creators of DreamWorks, so it's bound to be really good. Because they're the guys who made the, the How to Train Your Dragon movies. And How to Train Your Dragon. I love How to Train Your Dragon. It's How to Train Your Dragon is so good. And so this movie was bound to be good. I really wanted to see it when I when it came out, and we were able to see it in theaters, and here I have it on DVD. So awesome! Um, it's a it's basically a movie about these guys called the Boov. <laughs> Pretty good name, huh? Basically, they invade Earth, and they make this whole little little town this huge with these huge circles with towns in them full of people. And the rest of the planet goes to the booth. Um, basically, this uh, little this girl played by Rihanna, uh, she meets um, oh, who's played by Jim Bars Jim Parsons, Bazinga, <laughs> um, and the two go out on this little adventure to uh, find the girl's mom. And uh, while well, on the way, they also have to save the planet from an alien race that really hates the booth. So yeah. Um, Got that out of the way. <laughs> All right, Home is funny. It's a there are some sad moments in it, but it's a really good movie. Um, it's definitely a recommended movie for, recommended movie for kids. On number three, Jurassic World. Probably the best sci-fi movie of the year by far. It's just 
an, an amazing movie, and I gotta tell ya, it is just so, um, packed with action, so packed with dinosaurs. I don't rec I don't recall any scenes where they both use animatronics and CGI, but it's still just an amazing movie, and I think we can all agree, all those Jurassic Park fans out there who have seen this movie can agree that this was a really, 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 really good movie. So yeah, it's a very, um, in this movie, the park is open, get it? From the trailer? Never mind. So, um, the park is, a uh, Jurassic Park, um, is actually open, uh, only this park is called Jurassic World, hence the name. And, um, basically, a dinosaur that they created... Uh, like a like a hybrid of a bunch of other dinosaurs that humans created gets loose and starts eating people so starts to um find her place in the food chain and um it's up to the humans to f to stop this dinosaur from eating every single person on the island so yeah and it's a really good movie definitely recommended uh for the top 5 list of best movies this year um Number three! I really don't want to add this movie to number three, but I, um... I have a lot of movies here, so... <laughs> well, only five... Ant-Man! Yes! Now this, this was a good movie. Um... For those of you who don't recall who Ant-Man is, then, uh... And if you're a comic book nerd yourself, then you suck majorly if you don't know who Ant-Man is. And I'm not saying that because I've seen this movie and I think he's awesome. It is an awesome movie. But um, Ant-Man has been around for way longer. He's been around way longer than this movie. Even though this movie has been around for like, I don't know, 12 months. And he's just... Ant-Man has been around since like the 60s. He's a really old character. And because he's such a really old character, there have been... At least four people to take the mantle of Ant-Man. There was uh, Hank Pym. There was Scott Lane, who put who does who does the mantle of Ant-Man in this movie. Uh, there's Ergo Grady, and I can't remember the other one's name, but um, there have been so many people to take the mantle of Ant-Man. He's just a really important character in the Marvel universe, and I think he'll be a really a really important character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And yeah, so. It's definitely a good movie. It's funny. It's um it's got action. It's a superhero movie. What do you expect? What do you expect? Speaking of superheroes, what's better than a superhero than a superhero team? Avengers Age of Ultron. Now this was definitely an amazing movie. Basically, um the it features the Avengers again who are this team of superheroes. They have to band together again to stop an evil form of artificial intelligence. And it, which is not expected because if you haven't seen all those other movies about artificial intelligence, then you must suck because then you really suck because um, artificial intelligence basically thinks that the what's wrong with the world is us humans are what's wrong with the world, and the only way to maintain peace is to um, extinguish uh, the human race, make it another extinction level, which is the humans, um, and. Ultron's main objective in this whole movie is to cause, is to cause another extinction level with like the dinosaurs and all that stuff. Only this time it's humans, and the Avengers have to stop him from doing that. It's definitely a really awesome movie. It's, he's definitely Ultron has been around for a long, long time. He's definitely on the top ten list of the Avengers of Avengers villains. He's probably at number two. He's one of the biggest Avengers villains, and um, he's been he's been around for so long. And I really I really want to read like every single comic that has Ultron in it, just every single comic, even a even a reference or a cameo to uh, Ultron in a single comic. I want to read with I want to read every comic with Ultron in it. This movie is so awesome. Now. On to the, like, number one film 
uh, Avengers Age of Ultron was number two. Number one is, I'm pretty sure you can guess what the number one film is, and that is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Pretty much not ex unexpected, right? It's actually really expected for Star Wars to be at the number one list because, um, well, it's Star Wars. It's got space, it's got spaceships, it's got, um, lightsabers. It's just, a, it feels like another Star Wars movie, and I really like that. I really wanted it to feel like another Star Wars movie, and it succeeded. J.J. Abrams, who directed the Star Trek movies, did an amazing job on this movie. I really like J.J. He's like the Steven Spielberg of our time. He did so well on this movie. And I really, really enjoyed it. I want to... I feel like watching it like 10 or 20 times over and over again. Because it was just such a good movie. And yeah. Um... I really liked the cast. I really liked every character in it. I really liked that Mark Hamill returned as, um, uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, I'm, I'm glad he took some time to be, to be Luke again. And, um, took the time to be Luke again for, like, a brief, like, 20 seconds we get to see him. And, uh, save the time he has for playing Trickster in The Flash. <laughs> that will definitely fix him for the Trickster. Uh, because Mark Hamill did play the Joker in the original Batman animated series. So I like that he's returning to the, um, like, Joker psychotic level, which is the Trickster. And, yeah. So for those of you who don't know who the Trickster is, he's basically like the Joker of the Flash universe. He's, um... He's a Flash villain that's a, a lot like the Joker in a lot of ways. He does, like, he make, he does, like, pranks. Um, he does crime on a prankster level. He's, um, he's just as bad as the Joker is, who that and that who the trickster is. And I'm just going full on nerd on you again. This <laughs> list of the top five movies, not list of the top... 100 flash villains <laughs> so um yeah that was my list of the movies of 2015 i hope you enjoyed it um i realized that there was like only one kids movie and a whole bunch of a, a whole bunch of sci-fi movies like uh peach 13 movies but um home is definitely a good movie all these movies are good movies and i do recommend that you watch all of them on this list and I'm sorry I couldn't fit every single movie that in that came out in 2015 into this list. I but I just couldn't do that. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video, which is whatever whatever I plan it to be. I'm still working through it. So yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. Bye. 13 minutes. Not bad.